Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. I uh, have some new things to show you, so um, let's crack on with the shave. First of all, let me show you the brush. This isn't new, this is um, uh, not an old one, fairly new. Uh, this is the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves. I think this was from either 2019 or just the start of 2020. This is called the Discovery uh, Handle um, because there was a, I ran a competition and Jack Gillespie won the competition with uh, Discovery, which is the... My home city, Dundee, is called the City of Discovery because there's a ship called the Discovery. Uh, Captain Scott sailed to the Antarctic in that ship uh, and it's still moored her, uh, down in the, the harbour in Dundee. So that was the name of this brush, Discovery Handle, DS Cosmetic Kevy Shave with a tuxedo style knot. Right, so I'm going to be soaking that, not in the sticky toffee puddings of a soaker, or the P-R-O-R-A-S-O -O Super Soaker. <laughs> um, I was contacted by Jao in Portugal uh, and he sent me a, a very nice handwritten letter um, and he said, your idea for the Super Soakers have uh, inspired me to come up, come up with my own. Uh, now here it is here. Now Jao uh, runs a shop called the, is it Black Frog House? The Black Frog House in Portugal. So he said, I've made this mug. It's a tin mug, which I like. It's quite small, so it's nice, but there's a little um, piece of paper it comes with, and it says, to soak the brush or drink coffee. So <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Uh, so today I'm gonna to use it to soak the brush. So I'll put some water in there. You don't have to soak a synthetic brush, I know, but uh, just so I can use it. So that's it. Just covering the knot, so we'll just leave that in there. So, thank you very much, Jao. I appreciate your kindness. <laughs> I, like, I like the colour, it's really bright, nice, um, good. Right, let me show you the cream I'm using today. Uh, this is a new cream for me, uh, very kindly sent from Suzy Bana. Uh, you can see it there Suzy Bana for Men Shaving Cream, and this is patchouli and cedarwood. Comes in these tins. I'll let you see the ingredients right there. You can pause that and take a look. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is a UK artisan. There's the cream. Yeah, a nice, um, I would say it's more patchouli than cedar wood. There's a little bit of wood in the base, but um, mainly patchouli. So if you like that, which I do, I, th I find it okay. Yeah, you like that. Look at the cream, look at the, how silky that looks. Comes in these little tins and you get, for the price that she has different scents, um, but f this is um, 5.3 ounces of soap or 150 grams, about 10 to 12 pounds, so very good value for that. And um, with a carry on with the European Union rules and regulations just now, it's kind of getting harder and harder for uh, us in the UK to get some soaps imported from Port, um, Portugal, from Europe and uh, the States and that. So good to see and support a, a UK artisan. I'll put links for everything in the description of this and you can go and check them out. Right, I'm going to be bowl lathering in a new bowl sent from Yaki Brush. Now, here it is here. You probably recognise this. It's, it's kind of, I think it's pretty much similar to the Pereira Shavery. It has a bit here for your brush, which is good on the handle. has these uh, little indentations, but this one is porcel porcelain. <laughs> I think the Pereira Shavery one is uh, unbreakable, but if you drop this, you'll know about it. It's uh, yeah, ceramic, so there it is there. Came all the way from China in one piece, so good job, Yaki. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna use that. Right, the razor I'm gonna use is one I've used before. Let's see if you could, uh, Remember what this one's called, the St Mirren. Now someone said it's called the, the St Mirren, but it's not. St Mirren's a, a football team from Paisley in Scotland. Uh, so there's the guy there on the front. Bit of a, a matador looking. So it's a premium safety razor, but I've renamed it the Baby Future. And here it is here. Uh, you can get this quite cheap on AliExpress, I think it is. But um, yeah, it looks like the future, but only miniature. It has settings, it's an adjustable from one through to eight. 
You can see there, now, but the thing about this is it's held on with magnets. You can see there's a magnet there. Uh, there's probably some magnets under there and it just clips on like that. Now, people said to me the last time I used this, I've used it once before on camera, um, I wouldn't trust those magnets, but they're pretty strong actually. I don't think it's going to move. Yeah, so that's it there, booby future. Right, let me show you the blade I'm going to be putting that. Um, it's this blade here which I've used twice. Uh, here it's here, this is the packaging. I'm really impressed with this, these blades. Um, I said that in the last shave. Viking's Sword. Uh, a new name on me, I think they're Persona blades made in Israel, but uh, they're not the same as Persona Reds. I've used it again in a, what razor did I use it in? I can't remember. Um, but I've used it once on camera and then I used it again, but very good. So this is the third use for it. So let me just flip that off. Now the good thing about this as well is because there's magnets in here, the blade is held on with the magnets. As soon as you put it on those tabs, oh, just a little bit, it's centered there. I'll just check that. There we go, that's better. Yeah, so just make sure it's uh, on either end and then you get the top cap and it just snaps into place like that. And there's the blade all nicely aligned. Right, I'm going to have it on setting, um, let's go for setting six to start with. Setting six there, can you see that? Yeah, right, there's a little line up here, the six there. So it goes to eight, but I'll try it on six. Right, let's uh, get some of this Susie Banna Patchouli and Cedarwood Cream. I'll show you how much I take out. Probably, yeah, just that much on my finger. So, quite a good scoop out, the, out of the, the tin. And I just spread it in the bowl, like that. Just kind of spreading it around. Right, so there's still some on my finger there, but there's plenty in the bowl. So I'll take the brush out of the, the Black Frog House mug, and what's left of my finger is just pinch the knot and just uh, do that. Just put that in there. Put the rest on my face. Yeah, quite a strong scent that on that cream, but um, we'll see how we get on with it. Right, so I'll just dip the tips of the brush into the water and we'll get going. Straight away, as you can see, look those uh, grooves and little bumps in the bottom of this bowl, creating the lather no problem. Right, so I'll just keep uh, working this back and forward like that. I think there should be enough in here. Yeah, it's a nice, um, it's a nice deep bowl. So, although it's still <laughs> spilling out the sides, I'll probably put too much in. But that's just me. You know, I don't like to um, skimp on the soap and cream. I've got um, lots to get through. So, <laughs> how are you doing? How's things where you are? The weather here last week was fantastic. This week, we've had snow showers, and it's like it feels with the, the wind. There's a northerly wind blowing. It feels about minus three. <laughs> Yeah, good old British weather. Summer, winter, summer, winter, autumn, summer, winter, spring. Doesn't know what to do. Yeah, so look at that. That's nice. Looks good, looks good. I'm just gonna put a little bit more water in there just to give it a little bit of shine. Right, that looks good, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, look. Nice, uh, nice peaks on that. Well done, mate. Right, let's uh, wet the face. We'll just uh, rub that in that little bit that we've already put in there. The excess from my fingers. Dry my hands. Get the brush. Get going.
Yeah, so you can see it's a nice, um, thick, rich, creamy lather. Nice scent on it too. From the, the tin, I would say it was about a, maybe about a five or six lathered up. Maybe about the same, maybe even a seven. So, quite a strong scented cream. Going on great, very good, great lather. Easy to create it in the bowl right enough. Mmm, really good. Yeah, look at the peaks on that. Excellent. Yeah, I've never tried um, Susibana soaps or creams before. But lovely lather. Great scent too. I'll just put that right back on the... Uh, let me just show you, i just wipe my hands. The bit on the bowl for your brush in the handle. So good place for storing your brush there. Pretty good. Right, let me get uh, cleaned up a little bit and we'll start the shave at last. How long are we in? Probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> right, so I'm heating this blade with the Baby Future on setting six. Uh, let's go see how this goes. Oh, it doesn't feel, there is a bit of blade feel. But it doesn't feel as aggressive as the uh, Future on six, which is why I've named it the Baby Future. But, um, yeah, you can feel the blade, but that's only to be expected. And it does go up to eight, so if you want more blade feel, you can turn it up another notch or two. But again, this blade feels really, really nice. How was your um, Easter weekend? If you celebrate Easter? Yeah, no uh, blade overhang on this razor, so all good in that regard. Yeah, no blade tabs at the side. All good. Yep. Yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't really do anything for Easter. We took Riley out for a walk because we're still uh, in lockdown here. Well, we were at the weekend. Yeah, pretty easy to get under the nose. And uh, good news, as of Monday, the 5th of April, I uh, don't know when you're watching this, the barbers and hairdressers have opened up again in Scotland. Yes. I, uh, I've been getting Mrs. Kevy to give me some lockdown haircuts, but it'd be good to get back into the barber's chair uh, with a professional doing it and not having to moan at somebody saying, I can't, I'm not a hairdresser. I don't know what I'm doing. Can you take just a little bit up there? Just... <laughs> So, be good to get back in the barber's chair. <laughs> right, first pass. Yeah, great slickness. Really good. Right, let me rinse it. I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Yeah, good uh, Good residual slickness. It's uh, certainly there. Yeah, very good. Right, back to this uh, brush. Look at that. Excellent. It's not um, dissipated or anything. I 
I think the uh, last time I used this razor off camera. <laughs> no wonder I'm laughing. Uh, I actually forgot. I didn't even look at it. I just went, oh, I'll use that. And it, uh, I forgot it was in a, an adjustable. <laughs> I just shaved with it on, uh, I think, set five. And I was like, I don't remember it being this aggressive. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even look at the razor. <laughs> you know you're uh, <laughs> you know your bad shaving addiction is uh, when you get like that. <laughs> right, that looks good. Yeah, look, really nice. Right, I'm going to turn the razor down to setting uh, four for the second pass. So it was on six. So there is there. I'll just move it down to. Four. Yeah, so you can see the blade gap there. Still looks quite quite big, but it doesn't feel really, really aggressive. Like the future. Yeah, nothing like it. That feels really nice. I tell you what, that blade, um, when it's third use, the uh, Viking sword, fantastic. Yeah, it could be a new favourite blade of mine. I still need to try it in different razors and stuff, but... That's really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. And that's set in four there. Uh, but you can still hear it slicing through. Yeah, I had the uh, I had the Merkur Future, but um, I couldn't get along with it, so I, I sold it. But I'm just wondering what it would be like now. You know, a bit more. Um, experience in the technique and that. I'll maybe see if I could uh, if I could borrow one and uh, try it out again. The Mercury Future. But I just remember it being loads of blade feel, which uh, I don't like. Right. Second pass, yeah, fantastic. Right, let me run to come back for pass number three. Okay, that's it, back for the third pass. Still um, lots of cream here in this bowl. <laughs> but as I say, I like to, um, I like to have enough. This brush is great, handle, really comfortable to hold. Still a nice consistency to the lather. Holds up very well. Right, let me just uh, turn this razor down to setting three. So from four down to three. With the against the growth pass, see how this feels. Super comfy. Yeah, really, really comfortable with that blade on that setting. Really mild. It's still uh, it's still taking off stubble. You can hear. It's not um. It's not a slippy razor. It, it kind of has some coating on it. It's not like 
it's like a brushed steel uh, look, but it doesn't feel like it's going to slip even with uh, even with wet wet hands. I don't know if it's that blade as well with the combination of the razor, but that is a uh, really comfortable. So thank you for all the uh, comments on the last shave with the uh, cartridge razor. <laughs> uh, I think it turns out in the comments that some people use them uh, more than I realised anyway. Some people said that they use them uh, for head shaves and stuff like that. Or they, like I said, like Monday to Friday, they use them then on, on a weekend, they use a, a DE, but they still use a cartridge razor with a brush uh, and a nice soap and stuff like that. But um, yeah, pretty good. Right, let me have a, a little rinse here. And I feel about, after three passes, wow. That was excellent. Yeah, there's a lot of bits here, but nothing like as usual. You know, there doesn't feel much left. Just a little bit on this cheek. Right, what I like to do with an adjustable is, for the pickups, turn it up uh, to a higher setting. So we'll go to setting five. Go to setting five, can you see that? Five for the pickups. Yeah, well, there's one little dot there. Yeah, just a, a very light touch on the higher settings. Actually, a couple of little dots around here. Yeah, you can hear them now, just uh, picking up these little stragglers. Feels good. Right, okay. I missed my face wash in the last shave. I missed doing that. <laughs> right, let's see how much is uh, left in this brush. Lots of soap here. There's still some left in the bowl. I'll scoop out that as well. Probably enough for another three pass shave there. Yeah, you've seen the peaks on that. Look at that. Nice shine on it too. Very good. Right. Mmm. Right, face wash time. Rub it in, leave it on, rinse it off, hot and cold, see for the post shave. Feels great. Really, really nice. Very close. Skin feels good. Right, what's not to like? Uh, right, post shave. Uh, wood spice burgundy for men. This is from uh, Marks and Spencers here in the UK, which is a, a, a kind of shop that sells everything. Quite high end, but it's nice. It's good stuff. This wasn't expensive. I think this was six pounds. Maybe it might be a little bit more expensive now. This is the aftershave. It's a, that's what it is, it's wood and spice. It's woodsy and it's spicy. It's very good. It's woodsy, it's spicy, it's wood and spice. <laughs> or is it just wood spice? This is wood spice. Mm, great. Yeah, nice scent. Just to go with a 
cedar wood and patchouli. Yeah, great scent. Really good. Not used this for a long time as well. Nice bottles as well. Uh, and to finish it off, I'm going to be using the matching balm. Wood spice for today for men. For men. Or women. Women can use it too. Right, so this, uh, if I remember right, this is quite a runny balm. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not as strong as the aftershave. It has more of a... You can still smell the, the scent, but it's more... Uh, it has a bit of a, a cream scent to it. But, good stuff. Oh, excellent. You can't beat it, can you? Get a shower, pairing your face, having a good shave, using good products. No irritation. Smelling good. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. You know what it's like. You know, you know how it feels. Right, let me show you what we've uh, used today in this wonderful shave. Wonderful shave. Right, we used the DS Cosmetic uh, Kevy Shaves brush with the Discovery Handle Tuxedo Style Knot and we soaked that in the Black Frog House Super Soaker. Uh, you can use this for a brush, soaking your brush, or for coffee. That's just the size of it. I'll give you a, a kind of... That gives you a, 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 an idea as to how small it is. It's not very big, but ideal for that. And it's a it's tin, so if you drop it, it won't break. Uh, unlike this bowl, which will break if you drop it, but let's hope I don't. Uh, a new bowl from Yaki. Um, comes with these ridges. Porcelain, very good. Has a little bit, bit in here for your brush, which you can sit your brush in like that, in between passes. So um, yeah, very good. Thank you for that yucky. Uh, the star of the shave, Susie Banna Patchouli and Cedarwood Shaving Cream. I don't know why this uh, shaving cream's not that way, as opposed to this way. See, if you turn it upside down, I don't know, it's just <laughs> my OCD, I was like, is that right? Yeah, why doesn't the shaving cream go that way? Maybe that's their, maybe that's their trick that they, um, they like to do that. I thought it would have been better that way, but it goes. But I checked the other ones, and they're all the same. So <laughs> that's just the way they do it. That's just me, you know. I would, I would have had it going shaving cream that way, so it was in line with this. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, uh, nice scent, easy to lather, good um, protection, good peaks on it. Can take a little bit of water, so very good, but good for a cream uh, and a UK artisan. So go and support Susie Banner. And uh, yeah, check out the site. Um, yeah, because it's getting harder for this, us in the UK to get quality stuff like that. So good stuff. The razor was the Baby Future or the S N M I R N. Whatever the hell that. Why did they call it that? But I suppose they won't be able to get away with the calling it the Baby Future. But I'm calling it that. the Baby Future. Yeah, uh, an adjustable razor, one to eight, three passes, six for the first pass, second pass on four, third pass on three, and pickups on five. Very good. Uh, uses these magnets to hold the blade in on the, on the top cap there, which I'll just show you. Yeah, so there's the blade in there. That clips on. All very secure. Uh, well, hopefully it lasts like that. <laughs> and uh, more uses to come, but yeah, nice ladder channels in the bottom there. Good razor for the price. I'll put links to everything. I don't think it's so expensive. I think you could get it for about 10, 15 pounds. So nothing really, but very, very good. The blade inside that, fantastic again. Third use Viking sword, uh, stainless steel. I'll put links for these as well. I've just bought 200 of these. That's how uh, impressed I am with them. Uh, really good. Yeah, really, really good. Third use on the blade, effortless, smooth. No dragging or tugging, really good. Uh, finished off with a face wash uh, after three passes and pickups. And post shave was Wood Spice Burger Day for Men from Marks and Spencers. And finished it off with the uh, matching balm Wood Spice Burgundy Day for Men from MS, Marks and Spencers. And there we go. Oh, there's one little line there and that little weeper there. But other than that, 
very close, comfortable shave. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, who are watching are having some good, close, comfortable shaves too, using some good gear, buying some new products, supporting artisans, supporting other people too. It's all good. It's all just shaving. Um, yeah, use what you want to use and buy what you want to buy. Um, if it's expensive, go for it if you can afford it. If it's cheap and it works, go for it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you use. Um, the end result is a close, comfortable shave. That's all you're looking for. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Right, thank you very much uh, for the vendors for sending some of these products over uh, and showing you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say. Thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. I love interacting, as you know. Uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, take care. I love you all. See ya.